What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn about table views. And I'll just create a new project and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to add a table view to our UI view. So I'm just going to click drag like this down and then add constraints to the bottom and wait to all four um, corners like this. Good. Now, we're going to reference this table view in our um, view controller. So just open the assistant editor, control click, drag right here. And we can just call this table view like that. Awesome. And for now, we're done with our storyboard. So let's head over to the main controller. Whenever we're dealing with um, table views, the first thing we want to do is to conform to the UI table view data source. Okay, and usually I like to do this as extensions. So I'm going to create an extension of the view controller class. And we're going to be conforming to the UI table view data source like that. Great. Now this data source actually, let me make some room. Cool. So as I was saying, the data source requires two methods to be implemented. The first one is number of rows in section. Okay. And uh, if you, you can see right here, it expects us to return an integer. So I'm just going to return 10 for now. Okay. So what we're saying here is this table view should have 10 rows. Simple enough. Now the second method that we need to implement is cell for row at index path like that. And right here, it expects us to return a UI table view cell. Right. So what I'm going to do here is create a cell of the UI table view cell like that and finally we're going to return cell beautiful now in order to identify each cell I'm gonna set a text okay and luckily we have a property in our cell called um, text label like that and we're gonna be setting the text property to a string of cell hash and to get the index of this current cell, I can get that from our index path right here. So I'm going to say index path dot row, just like that. So this is going to create a cell, and this is going to create the cell 10 times, right? Now, we've configured our cells. The next thing we need to do is to head over to our view to load, and we need to set our table view dot data source to be equal to self. If we don't do this, the data is not going to be rendered on our table view. So it's, it's very important. Okay. So now, um, now we have everything set up. I'm just going to go ahead and run this to see what we have. iPhone 11, run. So as you can see right here, we have 10 cells and notice the index cell 0, 2, 9. Okay. So it works as it should. So there's another property that I'd like to introduce to you, and that is um, number of sections. So you see how we have right here, we have different rows. We can actually group rows in different sections. So I can have five sections, and in each section I have different number of rows, okay? So what I'm gonna do is right at the top here, I'm gonna create a Sort of like a data source. So I'm going to create two variables. The first one is, well, I can make it a constant. So I'm just going to call this section or sections. And this is going to be an array of strings. So first, I'm just going to call, uh, let's write um, animals. Uh, we could also say um, fruits and probably cars. Good. And next, we're going to have another constant, and this is going to be called rows, but this is going to be an array of arrays. So I'm going to specify this as an array of array of string. Good. Now, right in here, I'm going to create the first array, which is the first row. So for animals, what animals do we know of lion, um, tiger, Say dog, dig, um, 
What else? What else? What else? Let's say um, wolf. I guess that should do. Now next, we're gonna have another array, and this time it's gonna be for the fruits. So I can say um, apple. I can say orange. And for now, I'm just gonna stop here, just so we have dynamic number of rows. Okay. And uh, finally, we have cars. So I'm gonna write um, Audi. And um, should I write here? What else? What else? What else? Ferrari. And um, let's just write Ford. Good. So here we have um, four animals, two fruits, and three cars. Great. Now, how do we use um, this data down here? So first, in our number of sections, as you probably have guessed, we need to get the count of our sections. So I'm just going to say sections the count, and we're going to be returning this. Okay, and fun fact, you don't actually need to use return. If you do it like this, it's still going to work. So, yeah, that's good. Now, um, we've returned our sections. Next thing we need to do is return the row. But how do we know what row to return? If you look over here, you can see that we have our section. So what we need to do here is simply say um, rows, and then we're going to get the index of our section like that. And since this returns an array, we simply need to count. Awesome. So this is going to count how many rows are in a section and then return it as the number of rows for that section. Okay. And then for this particular place, rather than uh, displaying this cell, what we want to do is first of all, get the data. So I could just say, um, let title be equal to and this is going to be the same thing, rows, and we need to get the section again. But this time, we're going to be getting the section from our index path. So here, I'm going to say index path dot section. And finally, at this point, we have an array. So we need to also get the index path dot row, just like that. So this is going to return the name of um, that particular row. Good. So now we have the title. All we need to do right here is print the title. And everything should work smoothly. Let's run it and see what we have. Good. So I know you actually guessed that um, this was going to show the sections and everything grouped together. Well, sorry to disappoint. The reason is we need to actually implement one more, one more method. Okay. So I'm going to go right here, and this time we're going to be implementing a method called title for row, title for header rather. So title for header in section. And here we're going to be returning our section and again, section. And this should be sections, not section. So good, we're going to run this again, and we should see these sections. Awesome. So you can see that we have animals, lion, tiger, dog, wolf. We have fruits, apple, and orange, and then cars like that. So you can see everything. And one cool feature about this is as you scroll, it just um, stays put at the top. And that's good. Otherwise, we could head over to our main.storyboard and change the table view style. So I'm just going to close this and bring this guy up. Make sure that the table view is selected and right here we can change this plane to grouped and if we run this we're gonna see a different um, section style so it's not gonna stay put at the top of the page so um, right here you can see that the animals fruits and cars and as you scroll it just goes over so yeah it depends on whatever you want good so the last thing I'm gonna teach you is um, how to use a custom table view cell and actually it's fairly easy first select your table view and right here you can see prototype cells just increment the value so you can make more depending on how many cells you want to create so right here is where we can design our custom view so I'm just gonna create something very crazy drag in a UI image view right here like that 
and actually I don't I don't know what to design but <laughs> man just bear with me so uh, yes I'm gonna well let's do it like this so zero 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 and I'm gonna give a height of let's say a hundred or maybe not let's make this 10 good now um, let's also give it a width of 200 should be good awesome so I'm gonna add a label and this label is actually gonna be the same title that we currently have so center vertically and add constraint to the left this could be 8 and like this could be 8 as well good so now we have a um, table view cell the next thing we need to do is to connect our table view cell to a table view cell class so I'm gonna head back to our um, uh, view controller good and right here I'm going to create a class called custom or let's call this my table view cell and this is gonna be of type UI table view cell good now the next thing we need to do is to connect our table view cell to this class so head back to the um, main dot storyboard and make sure you're selected or the cell is selected you can also just confirm by clicking this table view cell good and then right here in our um, identity inspector we need to set the class to be our um, my table view cell good and the next thing we also need to do is to set a reuse identifier usually I like to make that the same as a class so my table view cell good now the next thing we could do is open up the assistant editor and we need to connect our outlets so I'm gonna scroll down to our table view cell right here click drag our image view right here I'm just gonna call this cell image view like that awesome now the next thing we also need to do is drag our UI label so I'm gonna click drag as well right here I don't know where that went I'm gonna say um, cell label good so I want to top awesome so I'm just gonna set this guy to aspect fill where are you my friend uh, yeah right here aspect fill good now let's head back to our view controller so now we have both of these guys here configured and connected to our storyboard we're gonna come up to our um, cell for row at index path and rather than using the default table view cell we're gonna say table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier and this takes in an ID remember we set our reuse identifier to be our uh, my table view cell I'm gonna put that there in string and I'm gonna say this should be as this now I'm sure so I'm just gonna force and wrap that and uh, now we have our cell our custom cell and what we could do is go ahead and say cell dot cell label so you see we have access to that and uh, this of course is a label so dot text should be equal to our title and um, at this point we could also set our cell dot cell image view dot image to be whatever image we have uh, if we probably had images in different rows but for now though I'm just gonna use an image that I have in my library so I'm gonna say command shift and L and just use D. Good. So this is going to use the same image for all cells. Well, this should be okay just to drive the point home. Let's go ahead and run this. Awesome. So you can see uh, the image of Dean Schneider. Anyway, I like this guy. And uh, you can see all our titles like that. So yeah, everything works. This is a custom cell. You can go ahead and design more custom cells and just um, decide which one you want to use. Okay. Now, finally, before this video comes to an end, there are a couple of times you want to execute um, certain tasks whenever a row is clicked on, right? So how do we do that? It's very easy, man. So what we're gonna do is right here, we're gonna say table view dot delegate, and this is gonna be equal to self, okay? Now, um, 
whenever we are um, setting the delegate to self, we need this class to conform to a particular protocol. So this protocol is, so first I'm going to create an extension again. I said I like to use extensions of the view controller class. And this is going to be conforming to the um, UI table view delegate protocol. Okay. And right here, what we want to implement is the deed select row at index path. So this method is going to be called or triggered whenever a row is selected. Beautiful. So for now, I'm just going to print out you selected. And in order to get the title, remember, we've done this before. We're just going to say um, rows. And we're going to be getting the index path dot section. And then another array of the index path dot row. So this is going to give us the title of the selected row. So let's run this again and see what we've got. So I'm just going to move this aside and bring this guy up. Okay. Now if I click here, we can see that we have Lion. Let me make some room here. Okay, good. So if I click here, you can see that you selected Lion. If I click right here, Apple, right here, Ferrari. So, you know, you can do whatever you want to do and just uh, basically limited by your own imagination. Okay, so uh, this brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.